Hey guys, it's Rob Sipa with Paperless Humans. Welcome to another episode of this free Apple Reminders course, where we'll be focusing on smart lists. Apple Reminders has some default smart lists that organize tasks that are due for today, as well as those that are flagged and completed ones. Scheduled groups tasks that have future dates on them. Assigned are all the tasks that others have assigned to you from lists you're collaborating on. You can hide as many of the smart lists as you want when you edit lists. Smart lists automatically organize your tasks according to the criteria you set. You can create them from scratch when creating new lists by choosing the smart list type of list. You can then edit filters to include lists matching all or any of the filters you add. You have seven filters that you can use for your smart list and each has unique options. A smart list can group tasks with specific tags. It can contain any tag, which is any tag that you select. Or any of the selected tags that you choose. In which case you have to pick the specific tags you want. It can also include all the selected tags, which means the tasks that you add to your smart list must contain all the tags which you have selected. Your smart list can also not have any tags. You can also group tasks that are scheduled for a specific date. Apple reminders have a few presets for time periods that you can group in your smart list. Sometimes you might want a fixed range. So under specified range, you can choose a fixed period with fixed from two dates. So this will group all the tasks that are in that specific time frame that you put. You also have the option for relative range, which would group tasks that are either in the next or in the past. Days, hours, etc. You can also group tasks that are scheduled for a certain time of the day. Apple Reminders can also group tasks with location information. This information can be specific, which groups tasks with location information when you're getting in or out of a car. You can customize your options. for when you're arriving or leaving a specific place. You can also group tasks with flags, specific priorities, and choose to include or exclude certain tasks in your smart list. Once you're happy with all your criteria, you can create your smart list.
And that is all for this episode. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next episode.